an incredible day. I have finally arrived to my destination. I woke up, drove about three and a half hours and I'm finally here. It's really cold, at least for me, it's like 56 degrees outside. I am layered up probably 10 layers deep. If anybody knows me, they know that I layer up because I don't really like riding in the cold, but I'm here, I'm ready to pedal, get warmed up and show you what this place is all about. I cannot wait to share where I am. Let's go. We have arrived. Dun, dun, dun. I have made it to Thunder Mountain. Wow. I have been wanting to come to this bike park for so long. And coming to all these bike parks, I always love to see what the mountain resort has to offer. This one has playgrounds, tree to tree adventures, zip lining, the bike park, and probably so much more. And always remember, follow directions. Everyone that goes to bike parks knows this sign very well. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Fort Hill, and that is the first drop of the jump line. Second goes into this rainbow jump, then goes into another big drop. This is the third drop right before another huge jump that they call the dirt to dirt, which for this drop, everyone says to kind of feather your brakes, don't go too far because you can overshoot it. All right, so this is the the dirt to dirt. <laughs> it's pretty big, pretty big. You got a drop and a roller and everybody says that you need to pedal and try and make it over. After this, I mean, there's just some more stuff. Um, so this is the on and off. It doesn't look too bad. Got a jump onto the piece of wood and then off onto that dirt. So after all that comes this one, gap right in the middle onto some more wood and then a big drop it's here. A lot more things, another jump, drop, gap, just bigger and bigger. I did just get here, uh, just took a walk down Fort Hill. This is one of the big jump lines that they have here and I'm going to give it a shot. My goal is to try and at least hit one of them. Um, this has been something that's been on my mind for quite some time and I've been wanting to come check it out and finally here. So I'm going to see if I can give at least one a go or maybe the first half that I just showed you all. Um, yeah, just a little nervous <laughs> as always, but that's good. That's how it goes. Here's another look at that big jump. It was huge. Everything was bigger and scarier in person. The wooden features, the drops, the jumps, everything. As I walked up, I knew I couldn't stare at this any longer. I had to go ride some trails to warm up. So before going to Fort Hill, I felt that I needed to warm up a bit. I had just arrived to the park and I asked a few people what they suggested I would ride and they said Sleeping Jacks was a good one. That one led you to other trails and it was super fun and flowy. That's what I'm currently riding right now. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. The sun is like shining on some rocks and I can't really see it. This is another one of their big jump lines, expert only, and it's called Hollywood. Super well-known jump line. And I believe for me, I felt that once I was able to hit these jumps and really feel comfortable, I was going to be somewhat ready for the Fort Hill. So I rode this one a couple times and really tried to get comfortable and just clear all the jumps. Oh, this one's always so sketchy. <laughs> Woo. These lips are just like going into a wall. You got big berms. Set you up for these next jumps. Woo. Oh my goodness, these are so big. And they're 
they're pretty fast. Whew. Here's another look at the first drop. And from this view, it looked massive. The landing just looked so far away and so high up. But I knew I couldn't stare at this any longer. I had to go back up and give it a shot. The run up to this is also a big wooden feature that you just have to give a couple of pedals for. All right, wait, time out, guys. Do I have to pull up? You said just trust the speed. Do I pedal through the wood? We will. We'll take a pedal or two on it. All right, just let it take me. Just go. Just however you do a drop, just do it. We'll pull off after the dirt to dirt. Hold on, time out. Let me think about this. No, don't think. <laughs> Come on. I just, just, just go? Yeah. yeah. I just pedal? Go on behind? Yeah. And just let it go. Yeah. All right, I'm trusting you. Oh my gosh, that was sick. Oh, <laughs> heck yeah. Oh, that was easy. That was easy. <laughs> oh heck yeah okay boys let's do this Don't be a baby. Come on. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, the thing is huge. <sighs> Come on. You got this. Oh, we got to do it. We got to do it. I got to hit that rainbow thing a little better, too. Oh, come on. <sighs> All right. We got through the beginning. I'm pretty proud of myself already. Now I just got to get this thing. Oh, the adrenaline is in all time right now. Like, holy moly. Like, this is <laughs> insane. <laughs> oh, I love this. I just dropped, literally hiked so fast up here to try and get one more to hit the dirt to dirt because I feel like I can get it. This is the first one. It's, uh, it's pretty high up there, but... <sighs> Felt so good on it. I have to come back. I can't leave. Can't leave the East Coast without doing this. This is crazy. So this is the first drop. Send it from there to <laughs> there. Then you got the rainbow over there, and then another drop that you have to kind of pull break a little bit. You can't go that fast because you'll overshoot it. And then comes the dirt to dirt. And gosh, I felt so good. I felt like I could have done it. Ugh. I ran up here, and they literally just closed it. To be honest, I didn't think I was even gonna do those two drops. They look so insane. Like, absolutely insane. <sighs> oh man, I'm so, so happy I got to do it though. <sighs> got a slight turn right here. Whoa, I don't know if I can walk this. Whoa. Turn, turn. <sighs> and then the drop, it's pretty big. And goes into the other stuff, but wow, I felt so good. Gosh, I wish I'd done it. What a time, Thunder Mountain. You were an absolute blast. So excited I had the boys there with me, riding back to the van with a smile ear to ear. Seriously, this is gonna be me all night. Like, I'm gonna lose sleep over this. I wish. Tomorrow I leave. I go back to the West Coast. This was a one-time thing. I'm pretty proud. I'm very proud of myself because those drops were big. Everything about that whole jump line was big. Um, and I committed to the first three, three jumps and drops. And um, I'm pretty happy about it. I'm leaving here feeling accomplished, a little bummed, but still accomplished. And uh, we're going to get it done next time. So...
I'm glad you're all with me for the first three drops. And uh, yeah, let's keep moving forward. <laughs> Cute. They're parked right next to a fire pit. incredible trip that was super excited i was able to go check out thunder mountain i don't know how i'm gonna do this drive back home i am heading to the west coast tomorrow loading up the van right now if i wake up and tomorrow the weather is good i might head back to massachusetts and hit this jump line i long story short find out next weekend if i'm able to conquer some fears and get over this jump line and hit it and conquer it and just have an amazing drive back home. So if you enjoyed this video and want more and want to find out for next weekend, hit that subscribe, comment, share, like, do all those incredible things. I would greatly appreciate everyone. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. And if you have not yet, get out and ride your bike. Catch you on the next video, everyone.